Police now investigating how and why a homeowner shot and killed a stranger inside his home. Fox 5 Sierra Fox alive in Oakton with what we know so far. Sierra, this story breaking last night right here on air on Fox 5. Right now, investigators believe this deadly shooting was done in self-defense. I actually just walked to the home. That's about a quarter of a mile away from where I'm standing right now. The homicide unit is still there. They've been there all day long gathering evidence, but they just took down the crime scene tape. I also spoke with neighbors who say this is a very rare occurrence for the area. It tends to be very calm and quiet, so the excitement last night was something a little different. Uh, we've lived here since 2005, and you know this was only six houses and one cul-de-sac for a while. They built some more, but you know, just very neighborly, very friendly. People know each other. You go for walks with your dogs up and down the street, so last night was pretty surprising. Take a look at Sky Fox video from the scene just after six last night on Waples Mill Road in Oakton, Virginia. Fairfax County Police say this all started with an interaction between the homeowner and another man. That turned into a disagreement outside the house. Then the homeowner went inside to get a gun. The other man followed him with what police are calling a large landscaping rock. That's when the man shot and killed the intruder inside his home before calling 911. The homeowner's wife and two children as well as another adult were inside during the incident. Investigators say at this time, nothing indicates the homeowner and intruder knew each other. Oh, there's no sidewalks here. So to get to that house, you have to drive into that driveway. I mean, even to walk that way. I mean, I jokingly said that, you know, daughter said, let them know. It's a two minute walk to that house from ours, but you got to walk through some brush to get to it. If the person's intent was to harm them, yeah, you have the right to defend yourself. Definitely frightening circumstances. Police tell me they are waiting to notify the family of the man who was shot and killed before they release his name. Of course, this remains an active investigation as detectives work to piece together all the different clues. And of course, Fox 5 will keep you up to date with the very latest. Back to you.